Welcome to Metal Gods TV with Mick the Beard. Hi, here with Mick the Beard from Metal Gods TV, Bloodstock Radio, and also beard sponsored by Smart Beauty Products. <laughs> and I'm with Afterdown. Hi, you alright? You okay? Hi, yeah. right. Good, good. You like the intro? Oh, yes, very good. I like that. That is a shameless plug. Yeah. <laughs> You've got to, haven't you, mate? You've got to. You've got to. <laughs> So uh, what are you guys doing at the moment? Because it's been a year since I last saw you. Yeah, we've just started recording the second album now. Uh, we've recently gone into the studio at Superstar Studios in Bury. It's quite close, around the corner, literally, isn't it? Um, the place where we're, we're at, it's um, Dear Superstar's own recording studio. And their live sound engineer is doing the recording for us, called Alex Wilson. So we've got two songs done, haven't we? Just mixing, mixing the two. We've been doing it one at a time at the minute, and we just make sure we've got one right in the next one. So, yeah. looking our way. We're getting through a track a day, we've got a 10 hour day, and uh, we can get one done in that. So, yeah. so and just gigging to pay for it. Yeah. Do a gig, day in the studio, do a gig, day in the studio. And so until we get all 38 songs done <laughs> and dusted, and then. Yeah, we, to, we wanted it to be out for SOS, but the time restraints are ridiculous. So yeah. We'd rather get it right than, than rush it out and yeah. Yeah, not be right. That was a bit unrealistic, really. That it, it just wasn't going to happen. Yeah, we didn't want to just rush it and make it. We wanted to make it sound all right to our ears and hopefully to everyone else's, so we don't want to rush into it. But. A bit better than your live show, then. No, oh, yeah, it'll <laughs> well, be miles better, hopefully, won't it? Yeah. But that's, that's another thing. We want, we want it to sound as we are on stage we don't want to put things in that aren't their that life we can't we, do yeah we, we, we don't like that we, we think if you're playing a song you, you want the listener to hear you on stage what you saw on the cd you know yeah. other than intros and stuff like that we yeah, can't we can't we can't, can't make it of overdubbing on but <laughs> not not to the point where people think that that's that, that's not them you know so. We want to try and get the same sound, that's basically it, as we're on stage with on the CD. So that's what we're aiming for. So you're not collaborating with Simon Cowell or anything like that? No. That's probably September, that, if it comes through. <laughs> yeah. Depends whether he sends us the cheque he promised us. If you're not, he can just stop it. <laughs> Yeah. And so I'm not wearing my trousers as high as he does either, not for any. I can't. <laughs> you did before, and he gave you that wedgie, though. <laughs> oh, he, could, he was Still just staring at me, that. Oh, did he give you a wedge? <laughs> wedgie? They hung him up on the wall, with it? Wedge over the top of head top as well. Top of my boxers, past bottom of my lungs. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Still can't see straight. <laughs> oh, it hurt. I couldn't, I couldn't. No, it was just one of them was staring at That's me. Like, nah, it's, he's having it. <laughs> as you can see, we're very professional. Yeah. Over the last over the last year, is there any gig that you've done yet you wish you'd never done? Uh, <laughs> careful what we say, aren't we? So. Careful what we say, we don't want to offend people. No, 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 no actually, no. Look, we did that. We did that. Um, cancer. Um, <laughs> cancer <laughs> charity raising. Cancer research gig. I mean, the, the cause was brilliant and we had a good time, but the, it was so funny. Oh, the one at the Phoenix Club in Bolton, yeah, that was. Oh, it was, it was like, I was just waiting for Peter Kay to come in, seriously. It was Jerry St. Clair, was the compo, wasn't it? And, I mean, with the rules on, a rock band, you know, we, we toned it down as much as we could and, you know, threw some, you know, some. some it was still covers in really. and stuff, but it was still a metal show, <laughs> yeah. basically. And we were on, and like the compo come on, and he says, Right, ladies and gentlemen, have we got some turns for you tonight? <laughs> so, but before they come on, I'll have to let you know we're going to have to cancel bingo and play your cards right for now. Well, that was it, uproar, all the old women, that's it, the tables were over. And You're not having this. I thought, Oh no, <laughs> what do we do? Now. And then you kick into it, you know, and that. But to be fair, I mean, yeah. we, we probably sold about 100 quid's worth of merchandise, like, and we, we, we threw the money, you know, in the, the Christie's box, but at the end of it, those, those old grannies, they were proper going for it, weren't they? Yeah, they so. Obviously, the cause was the main thing. We, we'd do anything for cancer yeah. research, you know, and things that like that. That was the so. strangest gig. It was a strange, it was odd, it was, it was a bit strange, but yeah, it, was, it was good nonetheless. We got to play a snooker for free at the end of it, though, didn't we? got free snooker, so... Yeah. And a lopsided table, using two bar stools as cues. <laughs> oh, God, it was yeah. funny. But, but no, apart from that, no, we've had no bad ones that we've wished. When people ask you if you had a bad show or there was a guitar exploding on you or something like that, we've touched wood, I haven't got any around here, but mm. we've never had anything where we've had a technical problem. 
except for little things like snapping a string, which happens every now and again. But I mean, we've just been, we've just come off now. And we're just watching one of the bands at the moment, and they've had nothing but technical problems with monitors and speakers, and it's just like we're lucky in a way. I think I think we just well, we're that simple, aren't we? In a way, we just yeah, have a guitar, keep it simple, yeah. a tuner. Obviously, it's a bit of an effect here and there, but we've yeah, but you've got your uh, guitarist out there sabotaging all the sound, haven't you? Oh yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> it. Well, I thought, actually, yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. That's a good point. Damn, yeah. he's caught onto our plan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shit. Making <laughs> some. Well, no, we're lucky with things that we've just been all right, and we? we're not had to worry about anything too problematic. We're not so. prima donnas either. You know, if you go somewhere yeah. and you've, you know, you've, the, not no one's taken the yellow M and M's out of the tray. We don't <laughs> kick off. You know what I mean? We just put them to one side and just have a quiet word later on and stuff. But we're not. You know, I mean, we play places where Jody's played a kit which has been that small. We played. A, in fact, this is this is this tops the cancer research. We played a gig in Whistles and um, in Oldham, and I think it was like a battle of the bands type thing. It was a few years ago now. And you didn't have a stool for some reason, and no one had lenders one, which we didn't understand. Anyway, and then Jody's on this, they built it together from a half a cymbal stand and something else, and he's basically, you're propping yourself up with his left foot, so his hi hat was holding up and operating the hi hat at the same time, and it, you were low down, and that was a bit of a nightmare. Where's the drums gone? You just see like a leg peering over the face. Like right? <laughs> but, but a lot of people have been like, no, I'm not doing this, you know, we're off, and, and he, the way they went. Through and, yeah, it's, it's one of those things. Go for it. <laughs> it's got plenty of padding, though, hasn't it? <laughs> I think that's why they won't lend me a stool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they thought, great. fuck that, there's a weight rating on this. <laughs> um, so, yeah, but we just, we just get on with it. We'll, we'll play anything, anywhere, and, you know, and I think that proves that we're... Well, you do have a gig which you didn't think went as well as another one, and now I just say, well, it's been a free rehearsal, you know. It's, yeah. Oh, it's a, it's been a rehearsal you've been paid to do, you know, so yeah. away you go. And have you got any sort of big festivals that you've you'd sort of got your eye on that you'd like to play? <clears throat> well, we've actually been um, enlisted into the uh, prospects for the highway. I think it's Highway to Hell too. Highway to Hell. Um, up in Scotland. Yeah, in I Scotland. So. Uh, we actually don't know whether we've gone through to the next... I think it's 74 bands. We're in that 74. Yeah. But whether we've actually gone through, we don't know yet. We don't know any details. We'll have to find out. But something like that would be really a nice little step up for us. And, um, you know, yeah. we, we love playing these SOS festivals and we play like the Halloween ball. drop on the... You know the one that... Is it Hard Rock Hell? You know, the one they do yeah. at Prestat and, you know, just go and have a great big lash-up in the Butlins or whatever it is for a weekend. Yeah, that'd be great. We'd love like, to yeah. get something like that. You know, another step up, basically. Just... Step, step, and hopefully we'll never know. Yeah, you never know. Mm -hmm. hopefully, yeah. hopefully we'll get a phone call one day and say, <laughs> hey, hard rock, yep, let's do it. Brilliant. You know, always up for it. And do you think things have moved on since last year? Do you think, can you see a progression in the band? I think yeah. mainly in our writing. I think yeah. our writing, we've gone early days after down. We all, one of us would write a song or bring it together in practice and we'd then uh, change things, add things, or, you know, write lyrics, you know, whilst the practice room now. We're doing it at the practice room. We found ourselves, right, here's a riff, lads. What do you think about this? Yeah, making it up as and a band rather than yeah. somebody writing it and everyone kind of saying, how does it go again? You know? mm. yeah. So it's kind of everyone's on the set. Everyone's having their own input, which we all love. I think that's the way a band should operate as well. It's good to have everyone doing, you know. I mean, there's, there's been times where one of us has written a song and this is it, and we've just gone with it because it works. But yeah. it's so much better to... I've, I've, that sounds rubbish, Neil. I do that. All right, okay, brilliant. It works better because you got another person saying what's good and what isn't, uh, and that's what we're doing now. We're trying to get each and one of us. And I mean, Andy's having a go at lyrics now. Jody's done a couple of tracks with, not actually singing it, but he's oh. been writing it. Oh, it might be the next step. <laughs> I mean, I still sound like a pet shop on fire when I'm singing. So, <laughs> but you know, get Neil to sing the lyrics. But I think we have progressed. I mean, just seeing your CDs and you know, just people stopping you in the street. You know, if I'm out about in Manchester on a night, I don't want to have your people stop you and say, "Oh, you're Andy from Afternoon." Oh, no, yeah, that'll do, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you went to Black Label. So yeah, someone yeah. stopped me at Black Label Society at the Apollo, and I can't remember, was it... Where did he say he'd see me? Oh, he said, yeah, last time... I, he come up to me, he said, last time I saw you, you said you had a dress on. I thought, what's going on here? I don't need this. <laughs> I don't need this. <laughs> and then I said, oh, I, you know, sort of, like, enlightened me kind of thing. He said, yeah, at the Halloween ball here in, in October kind of thing. I thought, oh, yeah, I remember now. He had a stupid there. clown mask on and one of wife's black dresses, like... One She's still life. pissed at me because I look better in it than she does. <laughs> but, but you know, when people are stopping you, you know, and then you, you know, you, you go out and you see a couple of your t-shirts, you know, dotted about, you think, well, that didn't happen last year. So yeah. even today, you know, I've noticed a couple of after down t-shirts lurking around, and it's like, whoa, 
Yeah, you don't expect it. You just. Mm. Well, you're still very humble about it. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. So it means that this one person when I show a bag of is like, oh, nice one. Thanks for that. Appreciate yeah. it. Honestly, just. You know, there's nothing better than someone coming up to you saying, you know, you guys sounded really good today. You know, on the other side, some people, I mean, we've been lucky that we haven't really had anyone to come up and say, say come, said to us that we, you know, we sound atrocious, what are you doing? You lot. But we do take, you know, constructive criticism really well. You know, yeah, I, yeah. If, if we sound shy, I, I want someone to tell me yeah, and then yeah. we can put Don't it back. Right. It. Sound shy, mate. Yeah. <laughs> See? Right. I'm off. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, no. If, if we're doing something wrong, then if we can, we'll put it right. If we can't. We'll just have to mask it under a load of feedback. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just play Matt. Play yeah, Matt. Yeah, yeah. He's not here. Yeah, he's, yeah. <laughs> he's not here, is it? Yeah, it's all his fault. <laughs> and right, this is one I've been asking people lately. It's a, it's a gripe. It's anything that really gets on your tits that you, you, you'd love to get off your chest. Musically? Anyth- anything. Anything, in general. anything I'd like anything, to get yeah. off my chest. My tits. <laughs> <laughs> It's true. <laughs> well, from a musical point of view, I'm fed up with like paying good money to go and see bands. Well, this is a little sidebar, this one, but go and see bands and the support bands getting a really rough end of the stick, you know, when it comes to the sound. I, I don't think it's fair. I mean, we do sound for bands, you know, at Grand Central when the rock sector are away and stuff, and we always give every band the same crack of the whip, yeah. and it's up to the bands, you know, to perform. I'm not into this, you know, where they think, right, well, it's only support bands, so, you know, we'll turn the, you know, we'll make it all fuzzy. And it, at that stage, and even at, you know, the top of the ladder, we went to see Metallica at the MEN a couple of years back, 40 quid ticket, and the sound that was given to Machine Head, who were, for me, are one of the best metal bands on the planet, it was atrocious. And then as soon as Metallica came on, everything was like Perfect, crystal clear. I think everyone should, you know, if you rate yourself as a band, then let the support band have the same sound. But Another thing that's me. ticket prices for music now, yeah. they're getting ridiculous. Yeah. I mean, it's at the point now where it's a day's work, you know, yeah. for, for a lot of people. Well, our kid went last night. He, he said, do you, do you want to come and see Priest at the Apollo? For, Hell yeah, I'm in. How much? He went 46 quid plus booking fee. I said, no, I only want one. <laughs> <laughs> and he went, no, 46 quid plus booking fee at plus the Apollo. Petrol, plus parking, you know what I mean? It's like, well, it's like Ramstein, isn't it? Mm. We were all like... 50 quid plus, 50 yeah. 50 quid. I mean, I mean they, they are amazing. They put a hell of a show on. You get everything with them. But it's ridiculous. That's the way I look at that. That's, that's a quarter of a day in the recording studio mm. yeah. for us. Yeah. That's how we looked at it, weren't we? We yeah. said, right, well, let's go and see Ramstein or we'll get another one of our own down, so yeah. it's just a no-brainer then. Oh, you come to a place like this, £10 mm. a ticket, £15 for the weekend, and you're getting 20 odd bands. Yeah. 40 odd bands. Yeah. I mean, I know you're not at that, no. that level, but it's still guys you know, giving their all you know, for, for nothing. So. <coughs> People, had seen it, for some reason, still pay the 50 quid to go and watch Maiden, rather yeah. than send it home an hour over a tenner for something like this. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Get it. And then they moan, say, where's all the venues gone, where's all the bands going, you know. Who, who's going to be the next day in Maiden, do you know what I mean? Yeah. You've got to start somewhere, you've got to start here. I mean, Maiden started you know, as a punk band in clubs in London, didn't they? Yeah. Their first gig weren't at the MEN Arena. So, I mean, all the little venues around Manchester, we've been lucky enough to play quite a few of them now. We played a show with Power Quest and Neon Fly recently at Satan's Hollow, and that was a cracking gig there. Yeah. This, you know, it was, I can't remember that. Was it even free to game, Matt? How much did they have to pay? I can't even oh, remember. Five or, five or something like that. Something like that. For three, I mean, Power Quest are a you know, top of the line yeah. power metal band, so. It's a brilliant venue. Five pounds in, and you can't shake a stick at that. It's brilliant. Well, they're, they're getting few and far between. You know, Jilly's has closed down, and mm. this, that, and the other. It's just a sign of the times. It's getting difficult for people, but it's got to keep trying keeping music live as long as we can. And you know, people like Rock Sexy Records are doing the damnedest, and you know, yeah. all power to them. Long may it continue. And have you got anything that you'd like to say to that camera there to anybody listening and watching? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I didn't know that. Hi, all. Hi, ma'am. Come check us so out. I'll be watching yeah. that soon, man. No, I don't. <laughs> come and check us out. Yeah, come yeah. check us out. Have a get yourself a copy of the new album when it's when it lands finally. And uh, awesome time, hopefully. Yeah. No name as of yet, but it's in the works. We're working on it, but keep it real, keep it live. Support your local metal bands if you can. Start your own. Yeah. Yeah. Correct. Thanks very much. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you Cheers. Very much. Thanks for a lot. There you go. Cheers. Less that one, wasn't it? Oh, brilliant.